Good morning, Babylon. Um, so thanks to some donations, I was able to buy a new battery. And it's an awesome battery because I saved. Um, and so therefore, I have the ability to run swamp cooler at night what was killing me before you would you would like I, I, and just speaking for me right i don't the days are not that big of a deal right it's 120 degrees whatever um but mentally i can do that physically i can do that i've created ways like getting wet in the canal uh, uh in the in water and uh keeping a fan on me and building a shade structure i've managed to be able to mentally and physically endure the long days that we have here um, it was for me at nighttime when I can't go back inside, um, and the critters come outside, you know, you've got spiders that are like this fucking big running around everywhere, um, climbing up on the walls, jumping on your face and stuff. So I'm not sleeping outside. So I drag my ass back up into my ridiculously hot RV every night and I try to go to sleep. And when you go back up in the house and it's a fucking 10 o'clock and it's still 112 degrees in there and all you've got is a little fucking shitty ass fan. Um, life sucks. Um, it doesn't usually get below a hundred in my house for like three months. Um, but now that I have a fucking battery, a decent battery and not saggy battery, it's a really perky battery. Um, <laughs> I have swamp cooler all night long and I'm finding that getting, being able to get restful sleep where I'm not sweating and literally like stuck to the sheets um, is amazing. And it gives me enough of a cool down period that when I come back outside in the morning time, I can, I can face the heat with a little bit of juice. You know what I mean? Like I got a little bit more for it and it doesn't feel quite as hot actually. Um, what you guys have done with the donations that you've sent me so far is create a break in the relentlessness that is the summer of slab city and for that i am eternally grateful to you guys um i appreciate each and every one of you um the ones that have given me big donations and the ones that have given me fucking just a couple of dollars dude you like all told you have greatly improved the quality of my life and for that i am eternally grateful um so I get this fucking battery, right? And then the next fucking, I don't know. It's been like four days, five days now. It's been overcast every fucking day. <clears throat> and what gets dangerous out here with the overcast is it's not quite as hot as it usually is. But, you know, like I said, over 110, who's really counting? Um, but with overcast clouds, you're not pulling in solar. So most people can't run their fans. And that's what harms people. Um, it appears to be a cooler temperature. It appears to be a nicer day, kind of. Um, except for there's no air movement because it's, there's no sun. Um, and the video I just posted, uh, a couple days, yesterday, a couple days ago with the fan, that's a 12 volt radiator fan, um, that I have hooked directly up to a solar panel. And what I was trying to show in the video is that with the cloud cover, the fan speed slows down and then it picks back up. Um, so that's what that variability was. And I didn't like verbalize that. So, um, I feel like that wasn't really well communicated. Um. Dude, I'm just, I barely have my phone charged. I know a lot of you guys have been calling me and you want to interact. And that'd be fun because it'd be less boring this summer if I could actually talk to people. But you have no idea the nightmare of trying to keep a phone charged uh, in this heat. And I'm, I'm unwilling to continue to throw myself at that brick wall knowing that my phone's going to explode if I keep putting it on the charger like some people around here. Um, and so I won't do it. So I, I use the phone for intermittent uh, messaging to my friend down the way. And, and that's pretty, and sometimes music. And that's pretty much it. Um, like I said the other day when I made the video, I couldn't even get through it without the phone giving me fucking severe error messages. Um, it's too hot. <laughs> Don't use this until it's a reasonable temperature. And then the phone just shuts off black screen kind of shit. So, um don't take it personal. I'll be back around eventually um, as far as social media and stuff. What else? I got a buddy staying with me right now. That's another reason. I've had writer's block. I don't know what to talk about. It's hot. It's hard to be creative in the heat. Um, I've been thinking about some of the, the shortcomings of this channel. Like, uh, you know, when I speak for, for me, I, I'm my so-called slab life because I'm not in the slabs. And this is just, I'm trying to show you guys the life that I wanted to create. I, I, I was unhappy in Babylon and I saw opportunity here to be able to create the life I wanted to wake up to. And that's what I've done. So when I speak 
I don't speak for anyone else other than myself because they've got very different things going on in the slabs. They have, they have, there's some sunshine and rainbows over there too. There's a couple of camps that are really fucking amazing and that don't tolerate bullshit. But, um, overall, I, I don't know that that is true. And I'm worried that I am encouraging people to consider this lifestyle that don't have a well-rounded picture of what it's actually like here. Um, my advice to you is if you're thinking about coming to live here, that you would visit as a tourist first and, uh, not just take it from my perspective because like I said, I'm, I, I've spent the last five, four years going on five years creating the life that I want to wake up to. And that's what I've been showing you. I've been taking you on my journey, but like I said, that's not necessarily, um, it's not necessarily a good advertisement for what the rest of the slabs is like. Um, inspire me send me some cool comments ask me some fucking fire questions um stay hydrated